These two paintings depict the Battle of Little Bighorn, an epic encounter between 200 U.S. Army soldiers and 3,000 Sioux and Cheyenne warriors, which took place in June 1876 in present-day Montana. George Armstrong Custer, who led the defeated troops, was killed in this battle, which is why it is sometimes called Custer's Last Stand. In the work on your left from 1899, Edgar Paxson depicts Custer at the climactic moment shortly before his death. The general's prominent position in the center of the picture reflects the perception of Custer at that time. In the 19th century, Custer was a hero. He had really fought till the very end. He was almost a martyr in this sense. Contemporary artist Alan Marden's interpretation of the same battle reflects the changing multicultural attitudes of the 1990s. His title, Battle of Greasy Grass, is the American Indian name for the Little Bighorn River. Its style, the bright colors and flattened figures, was inspired by Plains Indian paintings on animal hide. In the single canvas, Marden lets the entire 24 hours of the battle unfold. Starting from the lower right, with the arrival of Major Reno's battalions at 3 p.m. on June 25th, Marden depicts every skirmish site and every character he could identify. He spent a year doing research before beginning to paint. I felt I was a madman to start such a large project, you know, and I didn't really think about where it was going to go. A painting of this size it certainly isn't anything you can hang in your living room. And, but I needed to paint it. I, I needed to know about the story. I care what happened to the American Indian. And it gave me an opportunity to understand more about how the Indian thought, what his, what his spiritual life was like, what had happened to them, what kind of biases were, were pushing him out of, his, out of his habitat, and how hopeless it, it seemed and in this case, they won. And I think that it's probably the last time they did win at such, on such a scale. 